Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I thought uh, I would go ahead and do my monthly favorites video and it has been a minute since I've done a favorites. I feel like it's been a couple of months. So I've got quite a few items here that um, I've been using and really enjoying and thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys. So let's go ahead and start all off with this wax melt, I know if you've been here for a minute, you're probably sick of these wax melts. You're like, girl, I don't care about your freaking wax melts, but I love wax melts. I used to be super into candles uh, until we decided to pull up all of our old carpet and we took it out to my in-laws. Um, they have some acreage like out in the country. We took it out there and we burned it and holy smokes, that carpet took fire so quick, it was scary and it was like, burn your eyebrows off hot and I was like oh my god that's through my whole house and I've been lighting candles like <laughs> just like every bad possible thing just going through my mind like what if the cats had jumped up on my dresser back here where I will burn my candles it's like what if they jumped up there and knocked one down I mean the whole house would just would be gone like that th that carpet just caught fire so quickly it scared me so I really haven't done candles much since then. I've used up the last of the candles I had, but I haven't bought any more. And I'm not saying I'll never buy another candle. And we have hardwood floors now, and I think the hardwood would probably be harder to catch on fire than that carpet was. That carpet was like, like I said, it was scary how fast that carpet went up in flames. But um, since then, I've really been hitting it hard on wax melts. And uh, this one's a little bit different than the homestay ones that I keep showing you guys. This one is from Sensationals. My mom gave this to me for Christmas in my stocking. Um, that's a little bit better of a close-up of it. But I'm like in love with this wax melt. It lasts a long time. I get about a day and a half to two days worth of use out of it as far as it smelling up my house and me being able to continue smelling it. Because a lot of times with wax melts, I find that I'll put a cube in and it'll like make my house smell good and I'll be able to smell it for like a day but then after that like I can't smell it anymore I get desensitized from it and I feel like I need to put another cube in granted if somebody comes over to my house they can still smell it and they're like oh your house smells really good so normally I don't do a cube every day because I know other people can smell my house and I know that it smells good even if I'm not smelling the smell anymore but with this one I'm finding I get like close to two days worth of use out of it and it is the vanilla bean and my whole house just smells like vanilla ice cream like the first day I used it I was like oh my gosh I want an apple pie all mode like and it doesn't help that I'm pregnant so I'm like super wanting it but <laughs> I didn't go get one but I wanted one so bad because my whole house just smelled like vanilla ice cream. It was freaking awesome. So I have been in love with this wax melt and you can pick it up at Walmart. So, or so says my mom. So if I can find a link for it, I'll leave a link for it down below. So while we are on the topic of smelly goods for the house, I have a stress relief concentrated room spray. It's the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy line. And this works so well it's a tiny little can some of you may have may remember me getting this in a yertel unboxing um it was it's, you know well, you can go check out some of my yertel videos if you want to know what yertel is but essentially i didn't get to pick out like the smell or anything this is just what the person was selling um but it was bath and body works and i was like well bath and body Works is kind of expensive and they were selling like a whole set of bath and body Works stuff so i was like i'll just get all of it well I gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of this. It's the eucalyptus spearmint, and there's nothing against this product. This product works fantastic, it's just I don't care for the smell. But we have been using this in our bathroom, and it being such a tiny little can, like I never bought these in store before because they're so small, I'm like, that's good, I'm gonna go through that so quickly. It's not worth whatever you pay for it. The price isn't listed on $5. It's $5 for a bottle. And I'm like, well, for $5 for that tiny little bottle, I can go get a giant can of like Lysol that's going to last me forever. So like, I never pick these up in stores. But having one sent to me that I was able to get in like a set of stuff, like holy cow, it works. And we've been using it in the bathroom. And seriously, it's like one spray. One spray is overpowering our bathroom. And we have a fairly small bathroom. But so really we could do like half a spray in there. But it works. It's like, you know how sometimes you get um, air fresheners and stuff and you spray them in your bathroom and it smells like poop and flowers, right? 
it, that, this eliminates any poop smell. It's just eucalyptus and spearmint. And we have to shut our bathroom door after spraying this, like one spray in the bathroom, because it'll waft out into the house. And like our hallway, our back porch, our kitchen, our dining room will just smell like eucalyptus. And when I very first got this and used it, I made the mistake of doing like three sprays in the bathroom because I didn't think it worked that great. And it was like the whole top part of the house smelled like eucalyptus. And I smelt it down in the basement. It was going down the basement stairs. Like that's how potent this stuff is. So if you guys have ever thought about buying some of the stress relief stuff, air, aromatherapy, or I think, I know they have other smells of this that's not in the aromatherapy line. I know they have other ones that's just like basic air freshener smells. But if you've ever looked at them or thought about getting one, I would recommend it. I think I'll be getting these from now on. I've had this guy for a couple of months now and it's still like, there's a lot left in here. I would, I would venture to say that's how much we've used. That, that's probably all we've used. And uh, like I said, we use it in the bathroom every time we go to the restroom. My husband and myself, or when a guest comes over, you know, people like to spray this. And a little bit goes a long way. Holy cow, it is worth the $5. On to another thing that's kind of like aromatherapy related that I've also seen at Bath & Body Works. It's also from the aromatherapy line. I've always been kind of leery of these. This one is the Sleep Pillow Mist in Good Night. The, the smell is warm milk and honey. And it, oh, it says cinnamon essential oil is comforting. Clove essential oil is calming. And it's the warm milk and honey. I was a little bit leery about getting this at first when I first got it. But this also came in that urinal package that was like full of different Bath and Body Works stuff. I was kind of like, you know, I don't know how well that's going to work. Um, but I tried it out and it worked really well, surprisingly. Being that I'm now in my third trimester, when I got it, I was like at the tail end of my second trimester. Sleep is like evading me, even though I feel exhausted all the time. I feel like I don't get enough sleep. I, I feel like I'm tired all the time. And this just like knocks me out. I spray it on my pillow and I spray it on my sheets like up around chest level. And it just knocks me out. And my husband seems to like it really well too. So I'll spray it on his pillow and his sheets and his sheets we have the same sheet but you know like up around his chest level and stuff on his sheet so that you're breathing it in and it really works i just i feel like it knocks me out and i sleep really hard i'm not the biggest fan of the smell of this stuff it's definitely a heavy warm smell some people are gonna like it some people aren't but what i'm finding that i like doing with it is taking the bath and body works country apple body spray and I will spray our whole bedspread with that after I've sprayed it with this. So it makes it like an apple milk and honey smell. And the apple just kind of adds a bit of a freshness and a crispness and a lightness to the smell in the room instead of it being so heavy. I'm not really a big fan of heavy smells and that's definitely what this is. Uh, again, it just comes down to the personal preference. Yeah, that would just be my suggestion. Or if you're not a big fan of heavy smells but you want to try this, is get a body spray or an air freshener that you really like that's in the smell that you like and um, spray it along with this just to kind of lighten it because it's not a bad smell but it's just a really heavy thick smell I guess if that's making any sense. Last thing here for smelly goods this one is for your body and it is the love 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 shimmer mist from Bath and Body Works. I don't know if this was like a discontinued item I don't know I got this in a year old package as well so I'm not really sure if they still carry this in stores it's been a minute since I've been in the Bath and Body Works I'm trying to use up my collection but I've really been using been enjoying this I've been using it all month I don't know how much you can see is left in there but there's not a lot I think about right there so I don't think that much left um but I'm in love with it I think it smells fantastic it's definitely a light Floral smell, um, the top notes in this is succulent berries, white plum, and juicy pear. The middle notes, peony petals, lily of the valley, freesia, and the dry is blonde woods, and then you have glittering vanilla musk. And I'm just in love with it. I've been using this thing like crazy. Normally it takes me a full month to two months to get through a body spray, and a lot of times I'll get bored of it. And so I'll switch it out and I'll have like two of them that I'm using through a month. But I have just been using this one on a daily basis by itself all month long, like two to three times a day. I'm like, I'm smitten. 
that's you know, I, I really like it I really like it <laughs> so while we're on the topic of body care type stuff um, I have started using this Jergens soothing aloe uh, some of you might remember I think it was in my last monthly favorites I talked about um, it was a different Jergens lotion that I was using that was I think ultra healing that lotion was good I've used it through my whole pregnancy and I haven't gotten any more stretch marks I did end up using it up so I went into this one because I had it and I've been using this and so far I haven't developed any more stretch marks I did have some stretch marks previous to getting pregnant which if anybody's interested on me doing a video of preventing stretch marks during pregnancy I can definitely do that I feel like it would be a video better done after I fully completed my pregnancy and we can um, see if I got any stretch marks at all but I am 32 weeks pregnant now due in July and I haven't developed any new stretch marks and I am very prone to stretch marks so if anybody wants a video on that I can definitely do one but um yeah so far so good since changing up my lotion like I said I was using the Jergens ultra healing lotion during the first main part of my pregnancy well up until like last week when I ran out uh, so I've switched over to soothing aloe and honestly I like this one better but I feel like that one did a really good job I mean like I said I haven't developed any stretch marks so I'm not complaining there but it's such a thick the ultra healing is such a thick lotion that it feels like it takes a while to really soak into the skin so if you put it on and go to bed it's like you're stuck to the sheets so, but with this guy um, I like the aloe smell. It's definitely soothing. It's like a cooling sensation when you put it on. It feels cool. Granted, that could be because I'm running my ear, my um, ceiling fan now. So I don't know if that's the lotion or me having the ceiling fan on while applying lotion. But it's a cooling sensation, which I like. I think it feels good. And um, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like my skin gets really well moisturized from it. And it sinks in to the skin a lot more quickly than the Ultra Healing. So that's what I've been using. This is the um, nighttime facial lotion. I what was that? Thank you. <laughs> this is the nighttime facial lotion that I've been using most lately. It's Sweetly You Anti Aging and Super Moisturizing Complex Night Cream. This is another guy I got off of Yertle. I like it. I can't say that I'm like super into night creams as far as like wanting to know all that they do. Um, right now I'm just interested in preventative care and you know if it says anti-aging or anything like that I'm like whatever I'll try it. Uh, I like it. It's a very thick cream in here. You can see it's just it's very thick um, but it, it feels good going on. It sinks into the skin fairly quickly. I'd say within three to five minutes it's fully fully sunk in. It's definitely a thick cream, very hydrating cream and I've been enjoying it. Next one here is a facial mask and I'm not sure I've talked about it but I've been using these for a hot minute. This is the Cucumber Facial Mask from Be Fine Food Skin Care. I'm guessing that's the brand. This is a skin mask or a face mask that was sent to me in Ipsy a while ago and I've really been enjoying it. I'm not one to do face masks often. I really should start doing them more because I have quite a stockpile thanks to Ipsy. But I really love this one. It smells so strongly of cucumbers and I love it. I just I like the smell of cucumbers. It makes me happy and so I love when I put this on. I use it um, maybe twice a month. Uh, like I said, I really should, for as much as I enjoy using this, I feel like I should use it more often than I do because I've been using this guy since like January and it's not a very big tube. But like I said, I only use it like maybe twice a month and a little bit goes a long way. But it definitely leaves my skin feeling softer and for, like firmer or more supple. And I just love the smell. I think the smell of this is probably my favorite part. Last thing here, as far as skincare is concerned, I think I may have talked about this in one of my other videos, but it's been a while if I have. And it's the Pure Liss Ultra Skin Brightening Serum. That's what that looks like. It's just a little sample guy, also from Ipsy. But I think these are great to have on hand, especially if you use a lot of black eye makeup like eyeliner or eyeshadow because that kind of stuff definitely stains your under eyes and so when I wear that kind of makeup 
uh, in the evenings I will apply this under my under eyes and I feel like it goes a long way to help prevent staining down here. Since this guy got sent to me in Ipsy and I've been kind of dabbling with learning how to do a black wing. This has really came in handy having to put here in the evenings to help prevent any staining under my under eyes. So let's go ahead and get into all of the makeup that I have. Um, second part of the video. <laughs> I have been loving this nail polish. It's from Trust Fun Beauty and the color is I'm Kind of a Big Deal. This was another one sent from Ipsy. That's what it looks like. Such a pretty pink. I'm wearing it currently. Um, I, I love it. It's great that it's a vegan product. I think it's a gorgeous color. I've been living in this for like a while now, like a hot minute. I don't know how long, how many months I've been wearing this, but I've been wearing this for several months. As you can see, I've used up quite a bit of it. <laughs> Not a whole lot left in there, about half a bottle, but I've really just been enjoying it and I feel like it wears fairly well. It does chip a bit. Uh, the more you do with your hands as far as like dishes and stuff like that, the more it does chip. But I think that's pretty normal with most nail polishes. And I feel like this guy holds up pretty well. Though I will be honest, yesterday I tried a new um, top coat and this is the Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nail Strengthening Top Coat. And I used this as a bottom coat and a top coat just because I feel like a lot of times these things are kind of interchangeable. And I tried this out yesterday. <laughs> And at first, I loved it. I did like several loads of dishes. I've been working on sanitizing the bottles and baby toys and pacifiers that we've been getting for the baby. And uh, I felt like my nail polish held up really well. And in comparison, it didn't do too bad. But then today, for all of a sudden, I don't know what caused this. I haven't done any dishes yet today. Um, you can see chippage started here on this nail. Um, it like chipped off half and then on this hand like the whole thing just peeled off so I know it had to be this because that's the only thing that changed in the top coat was is the only thing that changed in my uh, nail polish routine but I don't know I just figured I'd put that out there because normally I just wear this by itself or like with a cheap old top coat or something and you have a normal amount of chippage around the edges so you know a little bit that you can touch up but today it was like whole fingernails peeling off so let's go ahead and talk about makeup tools because I've got a few here that I want to talk about that I don't think I've ever shared with you guys. So first one here is one I've been using for probably close to a year. It looks pretty gross because I need to clean it again. But it is just a Dollar Tree eyelash curler and I really like this. Um, I like that it's got a good spring to it. I like that it's got a soft spongy um, thing there. I don't really know is it like a guard or something. But I feel like it does a really good job at curling my lashes. It's very comfortable to use, very comfortable to put on. Ipsy did send me an eyelash curler a while ago. It was a little purple one. I think a lot of people got it. And I honestly didn't care for it. I thought that one was a little painful to use. Uh, I didn't feel like putting my eyelashes in here, I feel like it kind of hurt. Whereas with this one, with that cushion there, even though that one had a cushion, I just felt like it wasn't the same. And I really like, I like this one. And I also like that this one comes with a extra cushion. So when you need to replace this, when it gets too old, you can do so. Whereas that fancier one from Ipsy didn't have that option. It was like you got that cushion in your eyelash curler. And then once you use it up, you're, I don't, I don't know what you do with it. You throw it away, I guess. Um, but I've, I've been using this one for close to a year now. And I feel like it still does really well. Um, I just, I clean it. I use a little bit of makeup remover and a washcloth and I take all of the like mascara and stuff that gets on here off of it and like, for a dollar you can't hardly beat that. The next one here is a powder brush that I've recently started using it. It's another one from Ipsy. This is just turning into like a giant Ipsy like advertisement but I get a lot of my makeup stuff from Ipsy because you know why do I need to go buy more makeup stuff when I'm getting it sent to me every month right like you just start accumulating a lot of stuff. But this is a brush from Luxie. It's their 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I love Luxie brushes. I have another one that Ipsy sent me that I adore and I use it all the time. 
and this is the most recent one and I enjoy it just as well. I love this for applying my under eye setting powder and it's so, not for applying, for um, after I bake to like sweep it away. It feels so soft on the face. It's great to do little circles to like help dust all the makeup off. And then I also like to set a little bit down here on my jawline using this just to help sharpen up my contour a little bit. And I'm just, I'm just loving this brush. It's so soft and I just like to rub it on my face. Another favorite of mine most recently has been the Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. Um, I love it. When I first got it, I was really unsure about it because this is such a big side compared to the old sponge I had that was pointed on both ends. I think it was pointed on both ends. Um, but I've really gotten used to this and I really like applying my makeup with it with an upward application motion. I feel like I get a really smooth application with it. Um, I like this side here, the pointy side, for doing my loose powder under the under eyes to set my under eyes. And I also like at the very end, after I've finished all of my makeup, setting my makeup with this. I'll sometimes spray my makeup setting spray on here and then apply it to my face that way. Or I'll spritz my face with my setting spray and then go in and dab this. And I just feel like it gives a really nice look to the face. I feel like a really polished look. And I know I use the e.l.f. makeup setting spray and sometimes when I spray it on the face, um, it's, it's noticeable. And it doesn't always go on an even application, but I feel like when I take this and just push it into the skin, it does a lot to help make sure my whole face is coated with it and to give um, a nice finished look. So while we're talking about my under eyes, I've started using the Purity Mineral Science Setting Powder. And this is just a translucent white setting powder. I don't even know how well you can see that, but I feel like it does a really good job for baking my under eyes. Last item here is this lipstick here. You guys would have just seen it in my Ipsy unboxing. It is from Mellow. The color is Electro, and I just love this orangey red. It is so gorgeous, and I'm obsessed. I've been wearing it pretty much every day since I got it, and I love the bullet that it comes in. It's such a sleek looking package, and I'm just, I'm in love. I've been loving it. I think it's a great color for spring. A lot of times, orangier colored makeups can make your teeth look yellow, but I don't feel like I'm having that issue with this lipstick. And it also wears really well. I'm not one of those girls who likes to take her lipstick with her. I'm gonna apply it in the morning, and that's probably gonna be it. And I want it to either wear all day long, which, you know, that's not gonna happen unless you spend a lot of money on some makeup, or I want it to fade gracefully. And this one fades gracefully. It's a nice, even graceful fade, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Whereas sometimes you can put on a lipstick and it doesn't fade gracefully. You get like marks and it looks weird and it's like, what is your problem? You know, like what's on your face? But this just fades really nicely and I really like that about this product. I have one more favorite here to show you guys that I totally spaced uh, right before I did the outro. So this might look a little weird getting cut in um, after the lipstick, but it is fake tattoos. I've got one of the jewelry pieces on right now. This is a Marc Jacobs uh, fake tattoo, and I have a whole sash of fake tattoos, just all kinds of them. Gobs and gobs and gobs. I think they're so much fun. These Mike J Michael, is it Michael Jacobs? I think it's Michael Kors. It's Michael Kors, okay. <laughs> I got this set of Michael Kors fake tattoos. Um, each of these say Michael Kors on them. You can't see it because they're covered by the instructions. Um, there we go. They have like one's little locket um, and they each say Michael Kors on it. This one says Michael Kors as well, but you can't see it. There's too much of a glare, but they're very sparkly. And I think that's kind of fun. And I like the fact that it gives you the look of wearing a bracelet without having to deal with like messing with it. I don't know about you guys, but I fidget. I'm like, I wear anything. I'm like, I mess with my rings all the time. I mess with my nose ring, my industrial, like I'm constantly fidgeting. And so this kind of eliminates the, um, the want to fidget, at least with a bracelet. I'm still fidgeting with everything else, but kind of eliminates that. But one of the things that I really like about fake tattoos is that you can put them anywhere you want and there's no commitment to it. I love tattoos. I love the idea of tattoos but I have never found anything that I wanted to commit to for the rest of my life. Tattoos can last you even longer than a marriage can. 
They are not going anywhere when you get one. And I've just never found something that I wanted on my body for the rest of my life. Even though I love foot tattoos, I wear a fake tattoo on my foot like on a regular basis. My friends and my family, they're always like, oh my God, you get a tattoo? And I'm like, no. <laughs> It's fake. It'll be gone in a couple of days. But I love wearing fake tattoos. It gives me um, the ability to have the fake tat the foot tattoos that I like without committing to anything. Like I had roses on my feet the other day and like a butterfly last week. I just, I've never found anything that I wanted to commit to. And so fake tattoos give me the ability to switch it up, which I really like. I don't know. I feel like fake tattoos are going to be something I'm going to be using for the rest of my life because I love the look of tattoos. I just don't want to commit to anything. I mean, that's why I love piercings so much just because they're not a commitment. They're fun to get, they're fun to wear, but if I want to take it out, I can. So that wraps up my monthly favorites. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're interested in anything I've shown you today, I will leave links to it down below if I'm able to find links to it. No promises, but I will try. <laughs> um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Have you tried anything that I'm showing you guys? I know a lot of this stuff is from Ipsy, so a lot of you out there are Ipsy subscribers, and I'm betting you got it. So let me know. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Leave me some comments down below. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you've not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.